a classic car is an older automobile. The exact definition varies around the world. The common theme is of an older car with enough historical interest to be collectible and worth preserving or restoring rather than scrapping. Cars 100 years and older typically fall into the antique class. Organizations such as the Classic Car Club of America and the Antique Automobile Club of America maintain a list of eligible unmodified cars that are called classic. These are described as fine, or distinctive automobile either American or foreign built, produced between 1915 to 1925 and 1942 to 1948. In the UK, classic cars range from veteran, to vintage, to post-vintage. Post a Euro Second World War classic cars are not precisely defined and the term is often applied to any older vehicle. United States, cars 100 years and older typically fall into the antique class and this includes the brass era car that are defined by the Horseless Carriage Club of America as any pioneer gas, steam and electric motor vehicle built or manufactured prior to January 1, 1916. The classic term is often applied loosely by owners to any car equals legal definitions equals legally most states have time based rules for the definition of historic or classic for purposes such as antique vehicle registration for example maryland defines historic vehicles as 20 calendar years old or older and they must not have been substantially altered remodeled or remanufactured from the manufacturer's original design while west virginia defines motor vehicles manufactured at least 25 years prior to the current year as eligible for classic car license plates despite this at many american classic car shows automobiles typically range from the 30s to 60s examples of cars at such shows include the chevrolet bel air ford model t dodge charger chevrolet deuce coupe and 1949 ford Meanwhile, the Conquer d'Elegance car shows feature prestigious automobiles such as the Cadillac V16 or pre-1940 Rolls-Royce models. There are also terms as modern customs, exotics, or collectibles that cover cars such as the AMC Gremlin or Ford Pinto. There are differences in the exact identification of a classic car. Division by separate eras include, horseless carriages, antique cars, and classic cars. Some also include muscle cars, with the 1974 model year as the cut-off. Equals Classic Car Club of America equals, the Classic Car Club of America describes a CCCA classic as a fine, or distinctive automobile either American or foreign built, produced between 1925 and 1948. Other factors, including engine displacement, custom coachwork and luxury accessories, such as power brakes, power clutch, and one shot, or automatic lubrication systems, help determine whether a car is considered a classic. Any member may petition for a vehicle to join the list. Such applications are carefully scrutinized and rarely are a new vehicle type admitted. The CCCA maintains this definition of classic car. It uses terms such as CCCA classic or the trademarked full classic. Equals Antique Automobile Club of America equals the Antique Automobile Club of America recognizes motorized vehicles 25 years old or older, which were built in factories and specifically designed and manufactured for transportation use on public roadways and highways. Judging by the AACA evaluate such vehicles to be in historic or that have been restored to the same state as the dealer could have prepared the vehicle for delivery to the customer. Specified AACA classic vehicles include fine or unusual domestic or foreign automobiles primarily built between and including the years 1925 and 1942. United Kingdom, there is no fixed definition of a classic car. Two taxation issues do impact however, leading to some people using them as cut-off dates. All cars built before January 1, 1973 are exempted from paying the annual road tax vehicle excise duty. This is then entered on the license disc displayed on the windscreen as historic vehicle. HM Revenue and Customs define a classic car for company taxation purposes as being over 15 years old and having a value in excess of a £15,000. Additionally, popular acclaim through a large number of classic car magazines plays an important role in whether a car comes to be regarded as a classic. It is all subjective and a matter of opinion. The elimination of depreciation is a reason for buying a classic car. 
this is a major cost of owning a modern car. Picking future classics that are current bangers is a pastime of people into classic cars in the UK. Successfully picking and buying one can result in a profit for the buyer as well as providing transport. An immaculate well cared for prestige model with high running costs that impacts its value, but is not yet old enough to be regarded as a classic, could be a good buy, for example. A change in the taxation class is due to take force in April 2014, by moving the cut-off date of the historic vehicle class from January 1973 to January 1974, thus including all cars registered and built in 1973 as historic. Classic car styling There was a worldwide change in styling trends in the immediate years after the end of World War II. The 1946 Crossley and Kaiser Fraser, for example, changed the traditional discrete replaceable fender treatment. From this point on, automobiles of all kinds became envelope bodies and basic plan. The CCCA term, antique car has been confined to the functionally traditional designs of the earlier period. They tended to have removable fenders, trunk, headlights, and a usual vertical grille treatment. In a large vehicle, such as a Duesenberg, Pierce Arrow, or in a smaller form, the MGTC, with traditional lines, might typify the CCCA term. Another vehicle might be a classic example of a later period but not a car from the classic period of design, in the opinion of the CCCA. Modern classics, these vehicles are generally older, ranging from 15 to 25 years, but are usually not accepted as classics according to the Antique Automobile Club of America. The German term Jahnsteimer describes older vehicles which have not yet become old-timer classic cars. In the United Kingdom, the modern classic definition is open to the discretion often by insurance brokers and insurance companies who regard a modern classic as a vehicle that is considered collectible regardless of age. The usage of the vehicle limited to recreational purposes or restricted mileage is also taken into account. Safety Drivers of classic cars must be especially careful. Classic cars often lack what are now considered basic safety features, such as seat belts, crumple zones or rollover protection. On September 10, 2009, ABC News Good Morning America and World News showed a U.S. Insurance Institute of Highway Safety crash test of a 2009 Chevrolet Malibu in an offset head-on collision with a 1959 Chevrolet Bel Air sedan. It dramatically demonstrated the effectiveness of modern car safety design, over 1950s X-frame design, particularly of rigid passenger safety cells and crumple zones. The 1959 Chevrolets used an X-frame design which lacked structural rigidity. Had the IIHS used a pre-1958 Chevrolet with an unibody design, the results would have been much better. Vehicle handling characteristics and brake performance are likely to be poorer than current standards, hence requiring greater road awareness on the part of the driver. In certain areas of the United States, using a classic car as a daily vehicle is strongly discouraged and may even be considered illegal in some places. Retro-styled 2-point and 3-point seat belts are manufactured according to federal motor vehicle safety standards. However, most classic car bodies did not include safety belts as standard equipment, and do not include readily available reinforced mounting points, on the vehicle body, therefore it can be problematic to install such equipment properly. Specific studies and calculations should be performed before any attempts. Proper installation is critical, which means locating attachment points on the body frame, assuring the strength by proper reinforcement, and following the seat belt installation instructions properly to reduce the risk of malfunction or failure. Some classic car owners are reluctant to retrofit seat belts for the loss of originality this modification implies. There have also been instances of cars losing points at shows for being retrofitted with seat belts. Fitting modern tires is also a suggestion to improve the handling. However, most modern tires may be much wider and have a lower profile than those used on classic cars when new, therefore they may interfere with suspension elements and the tire walls may become damaged. The suspension of a classic car may not be suitable for radial ply tires, having been designed to only accommodate bias ply tires. 
narrow classic car wheels may have been designed for narrow high-profile tube tires and not be suitable for modern tubeless radial tires. Another problem with modern tires on classic cars is that increased grip requires increased steering effort. Many classic cars do not come with power steering. Many major tire companies have dedicated classic car tire marketing departments and will be able to give expert technical advice to address all these issues. It is important to know how radial tires will affect the performance of a car originally fitted with bias ply tires, and the considerations needed to compensate for the differences. Upgrading braking using either bespoke parts, parts produced by the vehicle's manufacturer, from later versions of the same model or later models that may be compatible with minor modification, is an effective method of improving safety. Popular examples include drum brake to disc brake conversions, or adding a vacuum servo to cars with front disc brakes that did not originally have one. Despite these concerns, classic cars are involved in significantly fewer accidents. See also Notes <laughs>